it's mjroot22.com. This is another vlog episode about our supermarket flyer roundup. Um, it's post uh, Memorial Day, so well, there's not much to uh, talk about, and it's just summer, all about summer. So let's see what we have this week. Again, IGA, Bishops in White House. We support them because they're local and they sometimes have good deals. That's plain and simple. We have, um, you know, last uh, couple weeks ago, at Shoprite had a sale on uh, London broil. It makes me, it makes it really hard to buy uh, higher than a dollar seventy-seven a pound once you're used to it. So we, we're not going to buy. We'll just wait, find something else that's uh, that's really uh, affordable. Uh, pork chops and ribs. These, these are these are a good uh, diversion to London broil. Can get tiring after a while. Uh, pretty good deal on these uh, watermelons, $3.99. That's uh, not bad. Whole Foods had it for like six bucks. We were at Whole Foods in uh, I think Chatham the other day, and that place is really, really expensive. I don't think it's all that great. Uh, what else do we have here? We avoid any kind of packaged goods, chips, cookies. It's just, I don't care how cheap it is. They can give it to me for free. I won't uh, eat it. It's just not food. It's not real food. That's our opinion. Yours may vary. Um, and same thing with these big companies puddling their bottled water. I, I don't know. I, it, I, I know it's good to have bottled water around. It's convenient to be able to carry it with you in the car or have it uh, on hand in case of emergency. But other than that, I, we don't buy bottled water regularly either. So let's see. You know, here's their organic section again. Um, Organic ice cream, I still won't eat it. It's ice cream. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, these chicken breasts are a pretty good price for organic. It's not organic, necessarily. Yeah, it is organic, but so they have uh, split chicken breasts for a buck ninety-nine a pound. That's we'll probably pick some of that that up today, uh, just because to make some nice chicken salad have on hand. We like doing that. We we prepare you know, a, a larger lot of food to have it for a couple days instead of per meal. It, I think that's a good way to eat. Um, what else do we have here? I didn't really do any, I, I circled a few things in these flyers to talk about what what we like to eat and what uh, what's a good deal at these stores. But again, you know, the, IGA is not necessarily a place for super duper money saving uh, items. Uh, and that's it. I say uh a lot, but again, here, here's coupons for for Nabisco products. I I, I just it, it bugs me to no end that uh, people eat these things, and, they, and then they complain when they go to the doctor and or they they have diabetes and they don't they don't think they don't draw the, the connection to that. So let's see, Kings Kings is our uh, enigma here. We go to them sometimes because they're extremely convenient, but. They're extremely expensive, so it's it's an interesting uh, quagmire. Their their location and uh, their I guess their fanciness makes it uh, a challenge. Again, they 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 peddle these sweets at, often at very discounted prices, and that's something that uh, you ought to keep in mind. And here, here's some chicken breasts for six dollars a pound. I mean, why? Well, I can get organic at uh, at at Bishop's for a third of the price. And here they have expensive uh, organic strawberries. We get into a discussion here in this house about uh, about the organic, some organic uh, products like strawberries or non-organic strawberries might have a tremendous amount of pesticide on them. But I, I don't know, you wash it off and you don't eat a million of them, I think you should be fine. But then again, I could be wrong. It could be building up in my system and one day I'll grow a third arm or something like that. So yeah, the Kings is not our, our favorite. We'll take a quick look at Stop and Shop. I still like saying they have the most pleasant to read uh, circular. It's just too bad that uh, their stores don't uh, back up that all the time. They, they're a little bit shoddy. Maybe there's some Stop and Shops somewhere that are on the upscale uh, uh, variety. And we're not a big fan with, with how they, they partner up with a lot of um, commercial entities like movies. Uh, that that bothers us for some reason. That's okay. See, so we got they got a pretty good deal on uh, pints of blueberries. That's a good deal. The, the 
chicken drumsticks and thighs are a buck a pound. And their London broil this week is $1.99. So, I mean, Stop and Shop has a lot of good things in our house uh, going for it this week. And again, with this marketing, I, I can't, I can't, uh, I don't like the way they, they tie this addictive programming into, into our everyday thing like food, everyday uh, uh, necessities. So I'm not gonna talk more, much more about uh, Stop and Shop here. And let's, last, lastly, is our favorite is uh, ShopRite because of their prevalence in the area. This, our ShopRite comes from Clinton here, our flyer, but we go to about, we regularly visit about a, a dozen ShopRites in the, in the New Jersey area. And living in PA, I think, or is that a Wegmans? I, I can't remember anymore. It's early in the morning I'm, I'm doing this video. This, uh, we, we don't support any of this stuff, so you may like ice cream, it's uh, up and almost a $2 savings, you can get all sorts of Haagen-Dazs and all these sweets that, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're hooked on them, they're on the, the prices are really good, and you can get even more to get addicted to. We, we just don't like cereals or ice cream. It's, when, when you, if you ever get to this side of, of the spectrum, you, you'll look back and say, wow, the power that these foods have on people is amazing and they're affordable and it's just not food. It's just not food. Um, here's another uh, uh, new trending uh, meme going around about balance your plate. You know, you have to have uh, all these different things. We agree with that as long as it's whole foods and not processed foods. I mean, this, they're balancing your plate with a, with a processed uh, wrap. That's not, that's not balanced. Here's a good price on uh, Cracker Barrel cheeses. They're good to have. They last a long time. They don't go bad. Good deal on the strawberries. Again, your your preference may uh, be different based on uh, whether you like or, or, or are afraid of pesticides or not. Again, these snacks, these these empty bags of calories. Here, I don't mind hot dogs. They're they're good. Who cares about the nitrates? Just don't eat a million of them. You'll be fine. Having a hot dog every now and then, and those Hebrew nationals are pretty good. So what else do we have here this week? Uh, again, with the London broil, I'll probably if I buy if I need London broil this week, I'll get it at Stop and Shop, not at uh, at Shoprite. But I doubt we're going to buy it this week. They have this whole section here on on breads and bakery, and I, I hope I'm not turning people off by by expressing my. Um, my discontent or whatever, what's the right word? My, my displeasure with, with bread products. It's just, try and get off it and see, see, see what will what happen to you. You can't. For those who, who, uh, who are currently eating a lot of bread every day, you can't get off it. You, you don't even think about trying. It, it's, it's an amazing thing. But amazing things happen when you do get off it. So, what else does ShopRite have this week? Uh, I was reading a book, uh, I'll, I'll talk about it one day in the future, and it said that the things that are most advertised are the things you should probably avoid. It's like a rule of thumb in, in watching out for, uh, for what's good and bad. Here's more pet, the sugar water, Pepsi. We just don't, we don't do it. It's, it's, it's an amazing thing. And here's another, we, we started shying away from these big, uh, they put this big number $27 up here to save. But you realize you have to buy all this stuff that you could probably live without. There's medicine, there's all sorts of heartburn crap, there's fluoride, there's uh, feminine products, uh, deodorant. You can use uh, salt on your armpits, by the way. They sell this uh, stuff and you'll buy one uh, deodorant, it'll last you like five or ten years. You don't need to put any of these chemicals on your body. And same thing with this stuff. You can use, there's certain oils you can put on your body and your skin will look beautiful, you know. Um, but anyway, to get this $27 savings, you probably have to spend a couple hundred dollars, so it, don't fall for this stuff. And what else uh, does ShopRite have this week? You know, I, I'm gonna have to take a look at this a little bit more, this ShopRite trading company. They have, uh, I guess it's a new brand, internal brand, which is stuff they bring and put their label on. This appears to be like products of the world, like Indian, Italian, um, all sorts of, uh, Greek things. We'll see. We'll see what's uh, what's happening with that. And uh, wholesome pantry. We like them. They got some good stuff here. Not everything is good. We, we, some of the stuff is substandard, like their teas. I didn't like their teas at all. But 
in general. I mean, just because it's organic, ba baked puffs aren't aren't really good for you. Just, who cares if it's organic? It's not going to make you magically uh, uh, win the, uh, the the 5K because you ate the organic puffs. Just avoid the puffs. And that's it, basically. Uh, we have, uh, there's a sample fest here at these uh, these four shop rights. Bethlehem, PA, yeah, there is one in PA. Greenwich, not Greenwich. I think I said it wrong last test time. It's Greenwich. And then Clinton, so this uh, Saturday, they have all these uh, things you can try if you want. Go there hungry and you, and you might, might be able to skip dinner. There's all these things you can get, meats and groceries, and there's like a million snacks. So go hungry on, uh, if you go to any one of these shop rights that day, for, just to be careful what you eat, you may, you may feel sick at the end of the uh, shopping trip. And that's it, basically. We're gonna talk one day about these these vitamins. There's some brands that I'm, I'm a little bit suspicious about. Every vitamin brand at ShopRite has the word nature in it. Just nature's trust, nature's truth, nature's made. Nat <laughs> it's pretty funny. They Like nature is some sort of magical buzzword that makes the vitamins um, perfectly acceptable. And what else do we have here? I, you know, there's some local stuff here. I, uh, I still wanna try that CSA. Uh, program. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. And blueberries, if you're going to pick a fruit, you know, stay away from uh, a lot of fruits that are way too high in, in natural sugar. Uh, but the blueberries, blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries are, are the best, in our opinion. A handful of one or a couple slices of another, it isn't going isn't gonna to kill you. But And that's it. I think there's nothing groundbreaking ever in these uh, ShopRite uh, supermarket roundups, uh, or supermarket roundups in general. But if we ever see something that'll uh, of interest, we'll mention it. Have a good weekend and enjoy the summer coming up.